Hello everyone. <laughs> ulit, ulit. Sige, sige. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Matt M. For today's video, I will be doing the books that I use for ASCP. And before we go through that, I would like to give a special shout out to the nurses out there. If you're a nurse, happy Nurses Week. And if you don't know, the last day of Nurses Week is actually the birthday of Florence Nightingale. So happy birthday to Florence Nightingale. Uh, lastly, I would also like to give a shout out to my sister who is an RN. If you want to hear her little tips and tricks on how she became an RN here in California, we can make that happen. I will put a poll up here and so that I can know that you actually like this type of content. Let's get started. So you decided to take the ASCPI. Now you're scouting for books to use. You're watching this video, then you're in the perfect video. Because that's what we're going to talk about today. I reviewed with Lamar Review Hub. If you can, I highly recommend you enrolling yourself in one of the intensive reviews because they simulate the questions that will come out of the ASCP. It's really good because it kind of feels like you're actually taking the exam. That's one thing to consider if you actually want to take the ASCP, should you review, should you self-review, that's up to you. The way I studied for ASCPI is kind of out of the ordinary, weird, not really weird. Some people do this, so don't judge me. I kind of classify the books that I've been using to reference books and then review books. I studied using that method, question, answer. If I don't know the answer, go back to the reference books and study the chapter that you're kind of, you know, a little weak in and you need a little more reinforcement. The exam is computer-based and you will be focused on a lot of questions and cases. So I trained my test-taking skills through the books that I use. I use a lot of questionnaire books. I will add some links in the description right there so that you can see where I purchased this book. If you're in the Philippines, I think you can buy this in national bookstore if you're not that online type of guy. You can also purchase these books on some secondhand bookstores or you can borrow from your kuyas and ates of higher batches who I'm pretty sure will have no use for these books if they are already working. Borrow, buy, barter, sell a kidney, I don't know. You'll decide. I just want to say this but I actually do own most of these books but I don't have them with me right now because I left most of my review stuff in the Philippines. It's in safekeeping in my parents house. They're just there collecting dust. I will probably sell them in the future so you can watch out for that one. Let's get started with the reference book. For the very best overview book for all the subjects, I used uh, Henry. People consider this as the Bible of medical technology, which is weird why they reference the Bible, but let's just stick with it. It goes because all the subjects are in within that book. For clinical chemistry, I actually used Bishop. I will insert the book right here and then you can also see it in the description box below. For microbiology, I used the Bailey and Scott's Diagnostic Microbiology. This is a really good book for microbiology and I really recommend it. For urinalysis, I used Susan Strassinger's book for uh, urinalysis and body fluids. It's a really good book. And then for blood banking, I highly recommend you reading Harmoning. Uh, this is a really good book for blood banking. You actually really need a good foundation in blood banking because the questions for ASCPI and blood banking are usually continuous, like a continuous case study set. You just have to study it. It's a really good book. I recommend it. Okay, let's go to the actual books that I used to review. This is the main book that I use for studying. This is a good book because me, I study through mnemonics. And if you don't know mnemonic devices, you should go look into it because these are really helpful things that you can use for studying. And this book is just loaded, like intensely loaded with mnemonics that you can use for the exam. Like seriously, this is a really good book that you can put in your arsenal of things that you will use to study for ASCPI. And it's called, oh my gosh, I've spoken about this book and I did not even tell its name yet. So <laughs> the book is called Clinical Laboratory Science Review, A Bottom Line Approach by Patsy Jeru. If I am totally butchering these names, I am so sorry. Like these last names are really intense. Second book that I used to study for ASCPI is the Medical Laboratory Science Review by Robert Hart. This is a really good book. I actually finished this book. That's how nerdy I am. I read this 
cover to cover. <laughs> Don't judge me. Because the way this book is constructed, it's really up to my taste of studying. It has questions on one side and it has answers on the other side. And it has rationales on how it, these answers are the answers to the questions. Because some questions, they would look like they have two answers, but this book will give you the reason why the other answer is not the right answer. The only reason why this book isn't number one in my list is because it doesn't have mnemonics. Next book that I would like to focus on is this hybrid book because it's more of a mix between a reference book and an overview review book. This book will discuss every aspect of the subject and then at the end of the chapter, it will have questions. So it's like one set of questionnaires at the end of every review subject. This is a good book if you're on a budget because it has questions, it has the reference, it's an all-in-one. What more can you ask for? The title of the book is Success, Clinical Laboratory Science, something like that by Anna Shula. For my fourth book, I actually did not finish this review flashcard set, but if review flashcards are your thing, this is a really good set that you can buy. It's called Quick Review Cards by Polanski. It's a really good book, highly recommend. It's a flashcards of random subjects that we have in our field and you can just pick the cards that you want to study on. So if you want to separate the cards according to subjects, you can definitely do that or you can shuffle the cards so that you can get one subject and then another subject so that you can practice for the ASCPI exam because the ASCPI exam is like that. It will give you one question regarding a different subject and then the next question might be a question of a different subject. The last book I'd like to share is the actual book that ASCPI have on their website. It's called Board of Certification uh, Study Guide. It's actually a good review book because their cases are, might I say, really, really hard. So that this will actually challenge you on your test taking skills and get this book. It's by ASCP. You're taking the exam by ASCP. <laughs> so I think it's a really good logic to actually buy one of their books. If you haven't noticed yet, it's actually getting really dark here. I usually film by sundown. I am a night shift person, so my mind is alive and kicking at this point and today the sun won. <laughs> one more tip before you take the ASCP exam. Don't think about it too much. Just Take a deep breath, rest easy because the exam will be hard. That's granted. But one thing you can control is sleep. So take a really good night's sleep before taking the exam. And if you're spiritual, I recommend praying or you can do some yoga, anything that will keep your mind at ease from taking the exam. And then it's time for me to sleep. Good night, everyone. Bye. Don't forget to wash your hands, everybody.